Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Wargaming. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is the weekly Wednesday Wargaming uh, questions and answers. It's an off-the-cuff video, guys. What that means is I record and upload. There is no fancy editing skills. You won't see my intro summer at the, uh, symbol at the beginning. I do have a transition button, so if there's noise outside of my control, I can stop filming and just, you know, carry on. Or wait for it to pass and carry on. Sometimes I do get disturbed on a weekly Wednesday, unfortunately, but that happens. These weekly Wednesdays essentially are Q&A. You guys ask me questions and I answer them. They are primarily model focused and it's primarily GW stuff, of which is primarily 40k stuff because it's the hottest thing going on at the moment. There is some terrain questions from time to time and inf some information about myself and what's going on in the workshop. So, and we have the weekly vote, which I'll get onto when we come to. Um, okay. How much more of the Imperial magazine do you have left to build? Right, the Combat Patrol magazine should be on its way, or should be here in the next couple of weeks. I'm not too panicked about the first four issues. I think one issue is just paints, but the other three is one Ryan's Leapers, which I've already painted up on the channel, built and painted up, so that's not a problem. I can build and paint them up on the quiet. Um, issue one is the is a Captain the Terminator armor from 10th edition Leviathan box, and a Wing Timid Prime, which I've already built both of those on camera when 10th edition first dropped. And then one of the other issues I think is uh, Five Infernus Marines again, which I already built on camera, so I'm not too worried about those. But back to the question. I just give you a little bit of you know what's coming in the combat patrol magazine because you know what I'm saying. I need to get these imperial magazines finished before that arrives up. First four issues doesn't bother me because I, I don't know already, but I've got about seven or eight issues with the plastic still wrapped on it, not opened. Okay, three of those are Paragon Warsuits for the sisters. I also have a few sprues outside of the um, outside of the packet. Cat friend destroyers. There, there's two of those for me to do. Some tomb blades. There's two of those still for me to do, which I, I didn't enjoy doing the first one of the tomb blades. So that's why I didn't bother with the other two. I put them off as long as I can. Uh, there's a crazy sprue that has suppressors on it for the space marines and infiltrators on, on the same sprue which i know if you went and bought them they wouldn't come together in the box like that okay so i don't know why they put them on the same sprue for the magazine and i think there's another sprue with some sisters on it arco arco flatulence so basically like people are half naked but they got big whips for hands and stuff like that um they're for the sisters army and I think there's a penitent engine in there somewhere. There's probably a few other things off, oh, I can't think of off the top of my head, but that's there. I think, I think apart from the tomb blades, I'm pretty sure all of the Necrons are done for New Prime Magazine. But I don't. So I want to get them finished before that Combat Patrol Magazine arrives in. I'm not bothered about the first four issues. It's not a problem. And the only thing for me with the Combat Patrol Magazine, the Eldari Combat Patrol in there, I've already done, done all that on camera. The Weldy is one, I've already done all those on camera. So that's not a problem when they, if they start swamping me, that's not an issue because I've already done them, I do them off camera. Um, I don't think what else is on there that I've already done. Some stuff from the Chaos Space Marine uh, Combat Patrol, but I'm still waiting for that for the Hellbrook, for the parts for the Hellbrook, the instructions to build the Hellbrook because I lost my instructions for my one. but. No, oh, yeah, not that question. Because if you haven't signed up for the Combat Patrol magazine, you still can. There's a little delay on it. I've, I've got an email saying it's delayed because there's so much, so many people coming to order it. But like, I put my subscription in straight away, so I have no problem with that at all. I should be getting it soon. What do you think about next year's Codex roadmap? And what is what are, what are the ones that you're looking forward to the most? It's a bit, a bit of a mad question. It's a bit of a mad. Uh, not question, but it's a bit mad the way they've done the roadmap. They've only just dropped three down for us. Now, I, I think the um, Estimated Terran one will go up on pre-order before 
before New Year's and probably come out just a week after New Year's, something like that. Maybe maybe the second week of, of January, just because of the Christmas post and everything else. Interesting. I'm very interested in it because I do have a few um, extra military parts, about bits and pieces, a Rebel Dawn, a Commissar, you know, a few other people. Well, exactly what I said. The farmer came in, that's why I stopped uh, filming for a minute. Little one came in. <laughs> uh, anyway, so um, I'm interested to see the Imperium, the uh, Astro Militarum one. The Eldari, 100%, I'm 100% interested in that. It's going to be a weird one for me. I, I, I don't know if it's going to be a weird one for me. It's going to be a weird one because I think I think there's going to be a couple of launch boxes for them. Because it's do, they're do, redoing the Phoenix Lords. So, and there should, there's Whisper of a, just the. Um, Warp Spider Phoenix Lord finally making an appearance. All the aspect rods that are in resin, fine cast resin at the moment, have been done in plastics. But I don't think I don't think the swooping hawks are going to be there, because I heard whisper of it's going to be uh, in a combat patrol magazine. No, not magazine, combat patrol uh, box. So I don't think they're going to be in the launch box. Oh, I'll start again because I was interrupted again. Um, yeah, I don't think I think they're going to be in their own combat patrol box with something else. Um, so I think there'll probably be a launch box with the new Fager model in there with the uh, fire dragons and some other pieces, probably some sort of heavy, heavy hitting units. Um, possibly the Walk Spider Phoenix Lord with some Walk Spider, the new Walk Spiders, and some other fast moving bits and pieces. Would have surprised me if it was like Vipers and, and Wind Riders. Um, I don't know. The Die Avenger Phoenix Lord, he's been redone, but I don't think he'll be in the launch box. I'm trying to think. That's there's, there's, there's all of them, isn't it? The Swoop and Hawk one, I don't think he'll be in the launch box because there's no. I don't think it's moving on to move them. I'm very interested in that that box. One of those, one of those, or both of those boxes. You know, if that is the case, definitely the one with the warp spiders in it. If that is, if that's the case, I would definitely be interested in that. The Imperial Knights one. Um, I'm not. I'm, I'm keen if I can get my hands on one. Fantastic, I'll get it because it'd be great value. But if I don't, I'm just not. I'm not going to be upset about it. But I, I think. I think they'll have those three boxes. So the extra midterm one will be right at the beginning of the year. I think probably a month or so later, maybe six weeks later, the Eldari one will be up for pre-order. Then probably another you know, six to eight weeks afterwards, the Knights one will come up for pre-order. I think then you'll have maybe three weeks or so, and then they'll drop the next three or four codexes and let you know. But I think definitely next year we're probably going to get seven possibly eight codexes but between now and Christmas obviously you got the Christmas bon uh, Christmas boxes to keep your eye out for because and as soon as I get information about them I'll let you know because they're always great value I think you know, I think you're going to get a few model variants from what we have so if there's anything they haven't released yet that came out in a box or that was part of a codex that would been released I think they'll release that model between now and Christmas you know, that other that thing, I think there'll be obviously be a couple of space marine lieutenants, primary lieutenants in different positions, different poses and stuff like that. But yeah, it's an interesting one. Now I had a question on the Let's Build um, video of the Necron Warriors. And I was asked um, which is the best gun option to take for them. So I, I did, you know, respond to that. And I said to them, I can go for it on, you know, I said to the young lady, I can go for it on the weekly Wednesday. She said to me, yeah, right, you know, fantastic. Because it's all really good reading something down. But someone's actually showing you just what it is. It's a lot easier. So I'm going to bring you down and run you through that. Not just for, not just for you know, that, that viewer. But for all of you that are, that are interested in Necrons. Or you have Warriors sitting there because you've got a restart box. Or you've got a knife edition. And you've never put them together. And like, oh, oh. No, I'll bring down and show you what's what about them. Right, I don't need to go through their stats. Because they're, they're okay. But here's their weapons or choices. They start with a gauze flare. Okay. 
It's lethal hits, rapid fire one, 12 inch range, one attack, force to hit, which is not the best. They're strength four, AP zero, and one damage. Okay, so they're not really, it's not really designed to puncture a hole in anything. But, okay, let me go for the other one first. They have the Ghoul's Reaper, which has lethal hits. Okay, 12 inch range, two shots each, fours to hit, strength four, AP minus one, and one damage. Now, the lethal hits, when you're rolling to hit, any sixes are auto wounding, which is, which is cool. But rapid fire there, so if you're 12 inches or less from the enemy and you've got the gauze flare, you'll get an extra shot. So each one have 20, uh, two shots. So if you have a unit of 10 and you're within rapid fire range, you're getting 20 shots, which is great. I always try and run warriors in a unit of 20 because if that is the case and I'm getting one shot a piece and now we're in rapid fire range, that's 40 shots. Now... If you have, if you're running the Canaptic Court uh, detachment and you have a Cryptek, a Plasmansar, Technomancer, you know, that sort of thing, and you're within your Canaptic matrix, you'll get to re roll your hit rolls so you can fish for more sixes. So you roll them first of all, take all the sixes out, then re roll them. The second time you need four or more, but sixes are lethal hits. But you can go one step further with that and have this. Lovely guy, Plasmancer, to lead them. He's a Cryptek. But he gives them unmodified hit rolls of a 5 plus, scores a critical hit. What that means is their lethal hits will take effect on a 5 plus, not a 6, if he's leading them. You know, that's, that is the way to probably have this unit. My personal choice is Gauze Flare, just because of the sheer number of dice you can be rolling at your opponent. And they have a 24 inch range. So even if they're not within rapid fire range and they're 20 inches out, you're still getting, with 20 models in there, you're still getting 20 shots. With him leading them, you'll, you'll get your lethal hitting them on the a 5 plus. If you're within the Kinaptic Court and you're running Kinaptic Court detachment, you'll get to re roll those, those 20 shots. So for me, that's the Gauze, Gauze Flare is the one to go, way to go with these guys. Because if you want the Gauze Reaper, then you might as well just take a unit of Immortals. Okay, yeah, you can't have, you can only have 10 in the Immortals, but you you can still pump out shots. But the Immortals have two shots, and I think they um, sustained hits two as well. So, again, even if he's leading them, they get sustained hits two on a five plus. That's pretty good. But Gauze Flare, to answer your question. Now, you're not going to take down Dreadnoughts and stuff like that, but... If you do, if you if that is your only target and you can pump out a number of shots at them, they're going to fail some of them. Right, so hope that answers that question. I actually just thought about it when I was going through there. I might, I might actually, if you guys want me to, is take one unit that I do put on the table in the game's game and go through their data sheet and just you know in my opinion what's the best way of running them and i think if i do that and one of you guys plays that particular army with those particular guys and have a, a better way of using them or a better way of doing them whether it be a different hq leading them or whether it be just a different loadout of weapons chuck on below and share the information so we all you know so we all can look and go actually that's quite clever or that's actually yeah it's a good idea maybe if you guys want me to do that you chuck on below and i'll start doing that I'm going to ring now and show you the vote now. Now, there's no orcs in the vote. I don't have any more orcs at the, at the moment. I'm too busy printing something big. Something very big. Um, it's very big. Very nice. I'm hoping it prints perfectly the first time. I'll probably print two of them and just work from there. But it's, it's nice. But anyway. The reason I say that is because I haven't, I've got, I, there's a load of STL files that I've seen just for crazy vehicles and stuff. And I haven't, I see them and I thought, well, that's nice. But I haven't looked at them and looked at the app to say, okay, I'll run that one as this or run that one as that. I haven't even downloaded them. But, you know, this, 
I do have a crazy idea for doing a some sort of battle wagon. I do have a STL file for for a tire, so I'm going to make it bigger. I think I spoke about this already. Print it, uh, copy it, and print it for like four tires, maybe six tires, and then put sprues between to give me a platform, and then start building bits up the side and you know printing a few, maybe a few other bits and pieces, like a like a sort of wizard's tower. And then having a gun going to the front of it, that type of thing. Um, I do have bits and pieces left over from, you know, the Hawk kits. A few bits and pieces left over from the Space Marine uh, tanks and Space Marine parts that I can add to that. And, you know, that sort of thing. That's one thing I'm thinking about. Anyway, I'm going to show you, bring you down for the vote now. The vote is, I show you a host of models. And you guys vote on what you want me to paint for next Monday's painting video. In the event of a tie, I do a dice roll. You can vote for whatever you like, but don't say I vote for anything. I vote for everything because it won't count. But you can say I vote for any of the Space Marines or any of the uh, Necrons or any of the Demons or any of, of this, and that will count. There is a wild card vote as well. You'll find out what the wild card is if it wins. And there's Creator's Choice. So if Creator's Choice wins, then I pick a model, which, you know, I want to paint everything. So it's just a difficult choice for me. If nobody votes, then I will, um, the greatest choice wins anyway. That's everyone on YouTube, comment below on this video. If you're watching this on TikTok, again, you'll just still comment below on the video and your vote will count because I share this on TikTok now as well. Yeah, there's no same as Alks in, in this week's vote. So I'm going to bring you down and show you the models and uh, go from there. All right, so we have a Necron uh, low cost overlord. We have Death Jester for the Eldari. We have the Masquerade for Demons. We have the Tyrannic War Veteran for from 10th Edition Leviathan Box. We have Swooping Hawks. We have the uh, Corn Berserkers, Jacila Magnus. We have the Great Demon Nurgle. We have this lovely mobile air tank, absolutely fantastic. We have the Venom. We have the Kinaptic Doomstalker. Actually, have two of those guys. We have the um, Scorpion Destroyer Lord, the Scourges for the Jukari. We have the Eight Bound for the World Eaters. We have Deathwing Knights. We have the Gen Seeders for the Tyranids or Gen Seeder Colts. I've left Saber Tooth in there this week. But if he's still there next week, he'll be swapped out for a different uh, Marvel Crisis Protocol model. Adari Guardians, Neuro Gaunts. We have the uh, Fantasy Lord on the Steed of Slanesh. We have the Chaos um, Demon Prince of Nurgle for the Chaos Space Marine Army or Death Guard Army. We have the Necron Overlord with Translocation Shroud, which is a very cool model. We have the um, Barbara Gaunts, which again, absolutely really going to go to turn contrast on them. The boat just flew in here. <laughs> we have the um, Inner Circle Companions. For the Dark Angels. And we have the Zombie Head Bust. I haven't had a chance to print another bust out yet. So hopefully by next week I will have a different bust in here for you guys. Right, so. Uh, I heard a noise over there. So I've looked and I've, I've discovered I have company. So I'm going to have to strip all them boxes out tomorrow and just. Eradicate. Anyway, so check comment below on this video what you want to, what your vote is for next week on this paint video. If you have any questions for me, check comment below as always, or you can go on to Unique Wargaming Terrain Facebook page. There's a message button there, click on that, you can message me directly, as quite a few men do. If you're seeing this for the first time and you're watching on YouTube, Hit the subscribe button because it costs you nothing. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. Everyone smash the thumbs up button so it triggers YouTube to this video more and more people, which makes this amazing community you guys grow even more. If you're looking at it on TikTok, hit the you know hit the, the like button. Go to my profile. There's a link there to the YouTube channel, and you can come over and subscribe as you know and join this amazing community of, of all of you guys. Until next time, guys. 
hit the buttons for me. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.